Hello boys and girls, and welcome back to Kids on the Living Edge. It's great to have you here today. Today we are going to be doing a new series. We are talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Last week we learned how God gave the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts so that we can love Him, serve Him, and love others. Now, when the Holy Spirit comes to fill us, He starts to do some work in our hearts. Just like a gardener wants to plant beautiful flowers, the gardener will always dig up in the ground and pull up any weeds so that they can plant some good seeds. Well, that's what the Holy Spirit does in our hearts. The fruit that the Holy Spirit empowers us to grow is not fruit that we can eat, but say we could see it. Say it was like an apple or like a banana or a grape. Guess what? If we can picture the fruit of the Spirit, I want you to think about a cluster of grapes. All these grapes hang and they bunch together and all together it's a cluster of grapes. Well each grape, if you want to think about it, is a part of the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is love and we're going to learn about the fruit of the Spirit in this new series which we are so excited about. So today we're talking about love. So what is love? The Bible says in 1 John 4 8, God is love. That means God is patient, kind, not jealous, boastful, or proud, or rude. Love does not demand its own way. And it's not irritable. Oh, stop touching me. That kind of irritable. Boys and girls, we can't love that way on our own. The Holy Spirit gives us power to love others the way God loves us. You know, sometimes a story helps us to see what we can't quite understand. So I want everyone to put on your big thinking cap, your big listening ears, your big learning eyes, and watch our story about a man who helped another man who really needed to be shown love. I hope you're ready. The Miracle of Mercy. The Good Samaritan. This is Jesus, hey. who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question, teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? <laughs> what does the law say? The man answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait. The man then asked, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. Ah! They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> by chance, a priest came along. <laughs> but when he saw the man lying there, Ugh, yuck. He crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. He's out. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Oh. <laughs> Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people, and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. Ha, 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 ha.
The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. Wow, that was an amazing story, boys and girls. I know you, many of you have heard the story of the Good Samaritan. Many people passed him by and said, I don't have time to help him, I'm busy. But you know what, that man had compassion and he, and he showed the love of God by taking care of that hurt man. Our Bible verse for our memory verse for our series is Galatians 5, 22 and 23. It says, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. If you put all that together, that's what love is. God is love. So boys and girls, when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, He produced produces fruit in our lives. It's not the fruit that we can see or that we can eat, but you can see it through our actions. Just like the man in our story, because love is something that you do, something that you show, not just something that we, that we can say, right? So boys and girls, we're gonna say our memory verse one more time. Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When you put that all together, that is love. And remember, boys and girls, God is love. So when he comes into your heart, he's going to help you to show love. Remember, just like that gardener has to dig up all those weeds, God does that in our heart as well. All right, boys and girls, this has been so much fun. I can't wait to see you again. And before we go, I want you to remember that you are chosen, you are royal, and you are special because you belong to Jesus. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.